Salt Intuition Tarot. Sorry for the setup, but I am working today, so I want to get y'all's reading out as soon as possible. We're looking at the person that is on your mind. And the first card out was the King of Swords. This person uh, probably hides their feelings a lot. You really don't know what they're thinking. Also had the Five of Cups. They focus on the bad things that happen and not the good. This person, you know, gets very hurt easily, I would say. Also, what came out was the Hermit card. This person may spend a lot of time alone. Remember that the roles could be reversed. This person could spend a lot of time alone. They, um, it's like they're always thinking about something. Very mysterious. Also, we have the Justice card. This person's really afraid. There's a Justice card. They feel like that whatever they do will come back to them. So they're really careful about what they do and say. What they let come out of their mouth. We have the hangman. They feel like they could be the only one sacrificing for this relationship. And that's what gets them in the five of cups. They're focused on the bad things. And one of the bad things is they feel like they're the one that's uh, always having to sacrifice their time, effort, and all that for this relationship. Then we have the Ace of Swords. Somebody is going to be realizing the truth. The Ace of Swords is finding out the truth. Finding out the truth of the situation and hopefully before the end of this reading you will find out the truth also. What is the truth? The King of Cups. That this person really loves you. Or they're going to find out that you really love them. There is love here. May not always be said. The King of Cups, you know, does not outwardly show their emotions. But there is love there. You have the Chariot. Somebody is trying to keep control of their emotions they're not letting them out how they feel. I believe that it's causing the other party to feel like that they're not loved at all. It's making them very anxious and questioning everything. We also had the Knight of Coins. They're very, they, they feel like that you, you know, work very hard. Whatever it is you put your time and teach it to, you work very hard on. But when it comes to the, you know, the lovers could be dealing with Jim and I when it comes to them that you have to make a choice to work on this relationship. You have to make a choice, make them a choice. If you're working hard on your job, then why are you not working as hard on this relationship? They feel like you're not working on it. You have the two of wands. They always waiting. They feel like they're always waiting on you. Waiting for you to give them time and attention, Aries. And then we have the Eight of Cups. They're very disappointed. And at times they feel like walking away from this connection. Because they feel like they're not getting their emotional needs met. And then you have the Six of Swords. Always trying to make up with you. Always trying to uh, go into calmer waters with you. Make sense of it all. They're a little back and forth here, Aries. They're, they're very back and forth. Then we have the emperor. What they crave is some structure in the relationship with the emperor. They need that structure. So, if this is just random and you feel like it's not so serious, this person is hurting because of it. So, you might want to adjust 
your movements toward them accordingly. If you really don't think um, that serious about this person, you probably need to let them go, Aries, because this person really needs some structure because they're losing it over you. And then you have the Four of Wands, and then uh, they feel like sometimes there's a third party, whether it be your job, school, uh, or other people, your friends, or whatever. They feel like that there's always some other person or thing. Something's always getting in the way of your relationship. And you have the devil. So there could be some type of temptation, manipulation. They feel like maybe your friends or people that you work with are manipulating you. And it's making them very hurt. You have the three of coins. Y'all are going to have to see if you do have common goals. Do you have common goals? And is it worth sticking together? That is your advice. Uh, this person does think that you might have a um, person that you work with that you're hung up on. And I'm just going to tell you what the cards say. All right, Aries, that was your reading. Y'all like, share, comment, as well as subscribe. And I'll see y'all later. Thank you for watching.